friends. Today I'm gonna be doing a Halloween vlog. It's gonna be like a week long Halloween vlog because I'm going to this really cool pumpkin thing next Friday. So I want to include that as well. But Andrew and I are having a Halloween movie marathon today. Um, and I ordered a whole bunch of candy from Target. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive because it should be here today. Um, I'm wearing a really cute cat sweater that I love. And before I get started, I'm also gonna be like reading stuff. So before I start, Last night, at one o'clock in the morning, which is way later than I normally go to bed, I finished reading The Darkest Part in the Forest by Holly Black and officially completed my Goodreads reading challenge for the year. So this was my hundredth book that I have completed. I was really excited and I was really happy when I realized that this was gonna be the one because I wanted it to be a fairy book. Um, so very pleased about that. And I only have about 50 pages left in The Bakersville Dozen, which is like um, kind of like a murder mystery type thing, horror novel, whatever. And it's really entertaining. I'm really enjoying it. And then I also really wanted to read The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. So I'm probably going to do that either today or tomorrow. I have a pumpkin bookmark that I've been using. I think that is the update for now. Got a pumpkin spice frappuccino from Starbucks this morning. I'm still like clearly asleep, as you can probably tell from like my face and stuff. But yeah. I'm excited for our day of Halloween fun. First, I think we are going to watch Hocus Pocus because that's like my favorite just go-to Halloween movie every year. Um, then we're also going to watch Halloween Town and <laughs> Double Double Toil and Trouble, which was a Mary Kate and Ashley movie that I was obsessed with when I was younger. And what was the last one that I had on my list? I don't remember, but I'll show you when we decide to watch it. things have arrived. I'm so excited. We started watching Hocus Pocus and we only watched the like very beginning skit where you find out what happened in the past with the Sanderson sisters. Um, and then we paused for a moment because I was like obsessively tracking the Target stuff because I really want to eat it and open it. Um, but it has arrived so I'm going to show you what I got. Well, I got a bunch of candy and then I got some Halloween stuff. So take five favorite Halloween candy. Hershey's Cookies and Cream. I love these. Reese's Pumpkins. I got more of this. I've had this in the past and I liked it so I'm gonna have it again. These I have not tried but they are caramel apples. I'm not sure if they like if the caramel is caramel apple flavored or if it's just apples like chocolate shaped like apples that has caramel in it so I'll find out about that. 100 grand. These which I love. They are my second no, third favorite, second favorite, I don't know. I've said it before, but these, the peppermint ones for Christmas and the raspberry ones are all like tied for my favorite. And these, which I have not tried yet, which I'm excited to try. Then I also got a couple of pumpkins. So this is one of them. This is a slightly bigger one. And this is a cute little gingham one. And these will all be in Instagram photos coming soon to a social media app near you. As well as this adorable sign that says pumpkins and has an arrow and I love it and it actually lights up. Yeah, there we go. And lastly, I got ghost pajamas, which I am going to change into right now. <laughs> Okay, so I have a really fun unboxing to do. Um, I wanted to make like a Halloween vlog and then it worked out really well because Tor contacted me and they asked if I wanted to unbox a box of books from them um, that's called like Trick or Treat with Tor Teen. And I was like, yes, I definitely do. That sounds amazing. So they sent me a box that has a couple of books in it and some other like goodies and stuff. And I'm gonna open it here for you and then we'll get into my Halloween vlog. So first there is a list of all of the books that are in here, but I'm not gonna look at that because I wanna pull them out and see what it is for myself. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so first of all, before books, there's actually like a bunch of M&Ms, which Andrew and I will definitely eat. Um, and there's like a really cute little cauldron and there's Twix and more candy, more Snickers. This is exciting. Oop add that to our giant candy bowl because we definitely needed more. And there's spider rings and there's also a giant spider. If my cousin unboxed this, she would have cried because she's like terrified of spiders. I feel very bad for her. Ooh, there's a little Batman slinky. That's really cute. There's like a pumpkin stamp to put on like paper. 
some mites use that in a bullet journal. Um, and then there's a little bouncy ball that has a pumpkin face on it. That's adorable. There's a really pretty bookmark in here for Weave a Circle Round by Carrie Marin. And it has a little ribbon with a silver key that's tied to it. So that's really cute. There's a tour sticker and there is an admit one ticket for, ooh, Deadlands uh, Boneyard by Seanan McGuire. So it actually has that book in it that it had the bookmark of. This is a debut fantasy novel and it is compared to Diana Wynne Jones who wrote Howl's Moving Castle. So that's pretty enticing. So the book follows a girl named Freddie and she just wants to be a normal person. And then one day she has two very strange neighbors that move in next door and some Something happens and she finds herself like stuck thousands of years in the past with these neighbors. So it sounds like it could be really interesting. And I, I really like the cover. The next book I am pretty excited about, it is Deadlands Boneyard by Seanan McGuire. Um, I know that this is a series of books that's based on a game. The game is Deadlands. And I'm really excited about it because I really love Seanan McGuire's writing. I really loved like Every Heart a Doorway and uh, Down Amongst the Sticks and Bones. So I am really interested in reading some more of her writing and this one seems like it's gonna be very Halloween-like, especially with that pumpkin on the cover. I believe that this is the third book, but from what I understand, they're all like standalone novels, so you don't necessarily have to read every single book. Like, this one is its own contained story, and it won't be confusing. So I'm very curious to see if I enjoy her writing, like, outside of the Wayward Children series. And then there's also a poster in here for that book. Then there is Seriously Wicked by Tina Connolly. This is the first book in a series and the third one is actually coming out really soon. It says it on here. It's coming out November 14th. This follows a girl whose mother is a witch. I have never read these but I've always been intrigued by them. Like every time that I see the cover I'm like I should get that because I love witch stuff and obviously this fell as a witch. So uh, this sounds like it could be really good. Next there is a finished copy of Enhanced by Carrie Jones. I actually have the first book in the series, Flying. I uh, have not yet read it but I know that it follows a cheerleader Leader, and I don't know if she is an alien or if she is like battling aliens and I don't want to read the synopsis for this one obviously because I haven't read the first one yet but these are pretty short and they seem like they would be really fun I really like it's like the covers that actually drew me in the first one is like a really bright blue and it just looks to me like it would be like a fun like kind of cheesy like 80s ish alien read next there is a finished copy of last chance by Greg Hurwitz and from what I just read this actually sounds like it might be like a zombie type novel Sounds like there's something that has been infecting people and taking over the world and there are a couple of teenagers that are stuck inside of their high school and they're trying to essentially save the world. And lastly, they also sent a finished copy of When I Cast Your Shadow by Sarah Porter. And this is a book that I have actually been looking at online a bunch. It sounds like it is a thriller novel and it follows a group of siblings. One of them has passed away and he is haunting his sister's dreams. And she's like not sure if it could be potentially real or not. And then she also has a twin and her twin brother is trying to save her from their deceased brother. So it sounds like there's kind of a lot that's going to be going on in there and it definitely has like the cover of a thriller. I like how shiny it is too. Oh and she also was the author of Vasa in the Night which I have not yet read but I do want to read and it's blurbed by Kendar Blake, Stephanie Garber, and Lee Bardugo so that sounds pretty promising. So those are all of the books that came in this box. Thank you so much to Tortine for sending this to me. This was really fun and I, I'm really glad that I got to include it in my Halloween vlog so thank you. Hi. Hi. So we had a very nice Halloween weekend, Hall weekend. Hall weekend. Hall yeah. weekend. That's Hall what we're calling it. Um, we watched a ton of movies yesterday, but I didn't end up vlogging like all of our choices. I think I just did too, because I don't know. Because you're enjoying the day. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun day. We ate a lot of candy. So lazy. Yeah, lots of movies. And now we're going on a date to a Mexican restaurant that is nearby our house, and we're really excited. For brunch. Yeah, for brunch. It should be fun. So Andrew and I had a lovely date at the Mexican restaurant. I'm home now and I'm back in my Halloween pajamas that I'm just loving so much. I just finished filming my haul that I didn't film last week that I was supposed to uh, for my last vlog and now I'm pretty much deciding what book it is that I want to read next. I have like five spooky books that are sitting next to me in a pile and I am between reading one of those 
or I also kind of really want to start reading The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Um, this is a book that I got at New York Comic Con and I'm very excited to pick it up. I also kind of want to reread The Raven Cycle. I also kind of want to reread more Harry Potter. I also want to reread Name of the Wind. And it's just one of those days where I'm like struggling to choose a book. I just cannot, I just cannot pick. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I don't know what to read. And yeah, it, like I said, the struggle is real. I might watch a little bit of booktube in the meantime because I just can't decide and I don't see myself deciding anytime soon, um, but I really need to. So yeah, I might watch booktube and take some Instagram photos and continue to think about what I want to read next. Wish me luck. Okay, so it is now like a week later. I kind of failed at vlogging a little bit this week, but it is Friday night. Andrew and I just got home from work and really excited because we are finally going to be able to watch an episode of Stranger Things. So we're gonna do that, but we only have time to watch one episode and then we're going to this event called Rise of the Jack-O-Lanterns. I'm gonna take some footage of that because from what I saw online, it's awesome. There's like 5,000 freshly carved pumpkins every single week and it just looks so cool and so full. And yeah, I have to go because I have to watch Stranger Things. <laughs> are at the Bayard Cutting Arboretum to see like beautiful fall foliage and stuff. Um, so we're just like walking the trails and just doing like 
some fall stuff. Um, and then later we're gonna go pumpkin picking, which I'm pretty excited about. I want an apple cider donut. We both want apple cider donuts. We do. <laughs> but I'll probably take some clips of the trees here cause just because it's so pretty. Arboretum and I took a bunch of clips of the woods and stuff because it was really pretty um, and now we are pumpkin picking but it was like so nice and peaceful at the Arboretum and now it's just like chaos, chaos and children everywhere um, so I don't know how long we're gonna be at this pumpkin picking place we're leaving we just want pie pie much. yeah so that's the plan Andrew and I finished watching all of Stranger Things yesterday once we got home from pumpkin picking. It was amazing. Like, I really liked the first season, but I have to say that I think I even liked the second season, like, a lot more. And I think Max is probably one of my favorite characters now, but it's really hard to choose because I feel like all of them are just done so well. It is the rainiest Sunday ever, so I'm just, like, cozy at home. I've got a nice mug of tea here. I'm wearing my Halloween pajamas again because they're just my favorite ever. They're so comfortable and I never... I'm gonna wear them year-round, like, no question. I did some, like, boring stuff earlier, like cleaning and food shopping and all that jazz. And then I spent a little bit of time reading Big Little Lies, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm kind of surprised that I'm liking it because it's more about, like, moms, and I obviously don't have a child, so I don't really relate to that, but so far it's interesting. And I am also just about done reading I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. I should actually finish, I think, both of these books before the end of October, but I might not finish Big Little Lies by then, we'll see. Um, so I'm going to wait and film my October wrap-up next weekend, that way I can include the two of these. Yeah, I think that's all that I have to say. I hope that you enjoyed this like spooky-ish Halloween vlog and the unboxing and everything else that went on in it. I'm just gonna film a couple of videos right now and then I'm gonna go back to reading. So that is all that I have for this video. Let me know what some of your favorite Halloween reads were this uh, October, not September. And I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye!